Welcome to the second annual Tencom Racket and String Awards. This year I tried 25 new releases, so let's count down the best and the worst tennis racket and strings of the year, categorizing them by power, spin, and control. The awards shall be bestowed based on the product's overall playability and innovation from previous models. To qualify for an award, the racket or string must be tried by me and released in 2024. Paint jobs like the E-Zone Aqua Knight or the V-Core Hearing Aid Beige do not count as new releases. So join us for this 20,000 subscriber special. It's the 2024 Racket and String Awards. Welcome to the stage, Simon Hercules Kuehl presenting the award for the best power racket. Let's open things up by taking a look at the power segment. Things were pretty quiet with the Pure Drive E-Zone and FX lines remaining the same from last year. The contenders are Technofiber, who updated their TFX1 line, though seemingly only releasing them in Europe, with the 305 being the most powerful 98 I've ever tried. The booms were also updated with both flagship MP and Pro models addressing the inconsistent string bed issues they suffered in their first generation. We also saw a more forgiving version of player rackets released in the Dunlop CX400 Tour and the Blade 100. And finally, we saw Diadem refresh their Nova series, causing this sensational marking mark in the Sandsate to switch to the Tour version for a total of five seconds. And the award goes to... It's the Carve All Court. So this is the Carve All Court, and you might be thinking, well, that's a spin racket because it's basically just a fake Aero Pro Drive. But in fact, I think this thing plays way better on flat shots than on spin shots. Therefore, I deem thee a power rack. The thing I love about Carve is they have their spec tests publicly available and they offer spec matching at a very reasonable price. This Carve All Court or the Carve 100 is easily the most connected feeling racket in its segment. And when you combine those things with an MSRP of around 200 US dollars, especially after using their 10% off coupon that you can, anyone can get just on their website for their first order, it's simply too strong of a contender to deny. Finding a racket that's affordable, not just usable, but actually excellent is an amazing development for the marketplace. Do you wanna do strings? No. So this year was pretty quiet for strings. We saw each of our favorite influencer companies release new products, but we didn't really get anything notable from the major manufacturers. There was a string that I was planning on giving the Power String Award to. However, the owner of this company personally insulted me out of nowhere when he found out that I didn't love the racket that he made. So this company doesn't get any Tencom awards. And since that company is now banned from the channel, the award goes to... Oh, that was upside down. True Pro Pure Rush. Pure Rush is not quite as powerful as the other string that I was going to talk about, but the overall playability is quite outstanding. Again, especially for the price. For $10 a set or $8 using anyone's affiliate code, including ours in the description, you get phenomenal tension maintenance, decent access to spin, and a pretty soft, very lively, crisp, responsive feel. Pure Rush has played great in every racket that I've tried so far, from my Pure Aero Rafa to the Gravity Pro and even my Yonex Regna 98. But I do really think that it excels, bringing a little extra power to those really control-oriented frames that still have great feel. The contenders for the best control racket are... Wilson's new RF-01 line. Rip, is that how you say it? RF-01 or RF-1? Uh, RF01. Okay. Wilson's new RF01 line, representing the most important racket release of the year. The CX200, which was refreshed for a little bit more power and stability. Although honestly, it flopped because of the shamelessly low swing weight. Wilson for the Blade and their update that gave them a more connected and powerful feel without sacrificing a hint of control. And Head also came out with a new paint scheme. I mean, 
updated their Pro models to the Auxetic 2.0 with their new Speed, Boom, and Extreme Pros all coming in strong. The strikes were also updated, though I'm not sure if I would call those control rackets or not. But at the very least, the Strike 97 was updated, and that's definitely a control rack. And the award goes to... It's the RO... <laughs> it's the RO... <laughs> and the award goes to... It's the RF01 Pro! So I actually really like the RF01 Pro, despite not receiving any money from Wilson to make my review. Rip off. I think the RF plays way better than any blade. Personally, like the spin is better, the maneuverability is better, the feel is more connected, yet it's still really solid, and most importantly, the sensations you get are just more special. Especially given the fact that this is the first iteration of the line, like the first time we've seen these RF01 molds, I think Wilson has smashed it out of the park. This is my favorite racket right now, on the backhand slice, that super low launch angle you get from those really dense center mains really encourages me to stay on the gas throughout the point. Doesn't matter what shot I'm hitting. But to be frank, there are other control rackets out there that I do like more than the RF01 Pro. They just didn't come out in 2024. Ooh, baby! We're hitting it big! So the best control string. This one is so easy for me that I'm not even gonna beat around the bush and it's re-string sync. This has become my de facto demo string. So anytime I get a new racket to test, re-string sync 17 is the first string that goes in that racket. It helps me feel how a racket plays. It doesn't stand in the way of your game. You can spin, you can play flat, you can slice, you can volley. Sync just does it all. It lets you and the racket shine. The feel is connected enough to give you an understanding of how any racket really plays, but it's also comfortable enough to keep you playing for a very long time. I've never missed with Sync and felt like it was Sync's fault, and I really think that's all you can ask for out of any control screen. The spin racket segment was not super interesting this year for spin frames, with the arrows, V cores, and SXs on a hiatus, and Head's Auxetic 2.0 updates barely even passing as facelifts. And with that stunning introduction, the contenders are the Extreme Tour, I mean Pro, the Speed MP, which I've decided is a spin racket for this video, the CX200, which isn't a spin racket per se, but I did hit a F load of spin with it. And I guess the Carve 100, since it's basically an arrow, even though only moments ago, Beckett claimed that it's actually a flat hitter. And the winner is, this didn't come out this year. What? Okay. You can't win this. Okay, get off. Get off. What do you? Okay, don't. Okay, now we're talking. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> and the winner is, it's the Pure Aero Rafa, a racket that was released last year and I ignored it until only two months ago. And I'll admit this is breaking the rules a little bit, but this is my channel, so I get to do whatever I want. The amount of spin that I hit with the Pure Aero Rafa is above anything I've ever tried. Everything else feels so deeply mediocre in comparison. Not only does it boost my spin on every single shot, but I can precisely modulate how much spin I want to apply. For me, spin rackets aren't about sheer RPMs, they're about deciding. Oh no, no, you can't pick a racket that didn't come out this year just I because you ignored it. Get out of the chair. <laughs> okay. Get out of the chair. Okay, the get producer out of the chair. has kicked me off. Unbelievable. What am I gonna do with him? The winner of this year's award goes to the Head Speed Pro. Oh wait. As much as Beckett criticizes the Head Rackets for being a bit hasty with their updates, I honestly enjoyed the playability of the Speed MP. I actually liked it in the first generation as well. I think it brings a unique feel and the bump and swing weight for this year gives the frame a much more solid feel, in contrast to the hollowness that you sort of felt in the first generation. Spin modulation is a breeze with this frame, and there's a nice overall spin buff thanks to the open 16x19 pattern. 
I think this is a super consistent, fast swinging, fun racket to use, and it definitely deserves this award a lot more than Beckett's now favorite bride. All right, baby, we're back. The best spin award goes to, oh, oh, oh. spin string. For spin string. Toro line, oh, Toro, obviously. This is by far the most spin friendly string I've tried that has been new for 2024 and most importantly compared to any string that's ever been released, it's the string that I can hit the most spin with. Yes, Restring Zero is still a spin king who swept the 2023 awards, but the additional control and more connected feel that you can find with Otoro encourages me to swing harder, to swing faster, and just apply more RPMs due to sheer confidence. So I'm here to give you the list of contenders for the best string of 2024. This is like a bad contenders list. We need to rewrite. There are limited options in this space, to be honest, but the contenders are Hyper G Round, Tour Mako, and Pure Rush. And the winner is Toro Line O Toro. So I'm not really sure there's much that can be improved on with this string. Sure, I'd like a crisper, more connected feel, but I can easily achieve that by throwing sync in the crosses. Honestly, I really wanted to give this award to Urmaco, not only because I sell it on my store, but there's it feels like there was so much innovation went into this string. Like, I love the abrasive surface, the gut-like performance. It's a really unique offering. But at the end of the day, I reach for Toroline O Toro. And that brings us to the best overall racket of 2024. And now, finally presenting the most important award of the night. It's the best overall racket. Please welcome. And finally, the award you all have been waiting for, the best overall racket. Hey, have you got your tweener picks in yet? No, are those due already? They're coming, the Paris Masters. It's so tweener is a fantasy tennis app. Basically you pick the players that you think are going to do the best in whatever ATP or WTA tournament is on that week. My beer. Oh. Get your own <laughs> and get out of the chair. Cause I need Who to did tell you pick? people I've gone for Sinner, Fritz, Humbert, Frenchman, at home. I always lean to the local talent. We've got Fies. I've also gone for Magic. I'm Bandwagoner. And Hatchnov, who just had a nice little final appearance in a tournament. You picked Hatchnov? Yeah. He least, just made the final. He's the least inspiring man of all time. He's but not gonna make any The thing is, my- yeah. So who are you picking? I have gone top heavy with both Sinner and Alcaraz. So with those two, I blew through most of my budget. But honestly, there are a bunch of strong sleeper picks as well. I've got Mahatch, who's been red hot. I've got Lehechka, who is just an absolute hammer whenever he plays. I'm a super big fan of his. I've got Massetti, and then finally I've gone for the legend Marin Cilic, who is an absolute value buy at two million dollars. This is the smart way to do things. Did you see the prizes? They're good you prizes. You can, you can, you can buy shoes, rackets. You can buy bags. Yeah, just for playing this free game. For you to sign up, you can join our private server, which has its own special set of prizes, so you can play the Tencom pool and the normal pool to win like consultations and extra coins. Join us playing tweener and check out our picks through the brand new iOS and Android app. We've got links in the description. The contenders for the best racket of the year are the Carve All Court, AKA the best power racket of the year as presented by the Tencom Board of Best. A mold that we all know and love, painted like a pro stock for a budget price. What's more to love than the Carve Alcourt? Well, maybe it's the RF01 Pro, aka the best control racket of the year. An all new mold for 2024 with maybe the best possible endorsement for a tier list and actually good playability to boot. No! 
But maybe it's the Speed MP, aka the best spin racket of the year, featuring the untenable genius of an Auxetic 2.0 paint job, even though Sinner doesn't even use that paint job to win his slams. What do you think is in this prop envelope? Oh. It's the Babolat Pure Strike 98 16 by 19. In my initial review, I called this the best racket of the year so far, and wow, did it hold its own. Not only did Babolat make all the improvements they needed to compared to the previous version, finally making the strikes comfortable and actually adding some amount of feel into the frame, but they managed to do so without sacrificing playability. Finally, we have a Babolat that offers huge power, huge spin, huge stability without having to pay the tennis elbow tax. The stability is among the absolute best in the 98 score inch segment. The plow through and ease of court penetration leads the segment. The spin modulation is upper class. The ball pocketing and feel is good enough to keep you dialed in on every single shot. The string bed, even in the 16 by 19 pattern, offers plenty of directional control on those baseline bashes. If you are looking for a 98 score inch frame and you can handle a little bit of a higher swing weight, the Pure Strike 98 is an absolute must demo. Would you like to join me for the sappy end? So thank you so much for watching the 2024 Tencom Awards. And thank you to all the 20,000 subscribers for continuing to watch Beckett and I make these videos. Thanks to the over 100 YouTube members who throw us a little extra cash for some bonus content. And thanks to everyone who's used an affiliate link to support the channel or purchased consultations or strings from our website. And thank you to all of our sponsors over the last year, from our pals over at Direct Tennis to our friends here at Tweener. And thanks to the 4.5 million of you who took some time out of your day to watch our stupid videos. Whether this is your first Tencom video or your 200th, thank you so much. We're cooking up some fire content over the next few months. And we've got some epic collabs and exclusive videos coming your way. So I hope you stay with us for the rest of the year and all of 2025. That was an actual outro. I ended it. You ended it soon.